All right, we got another possible con ed lock from Charles' father-in-law's toolbox. He stumbled across this guy, Little Sisa, made in Italy. And again, like the others, it looks like Charles' father threw these locks in his toolbox and just forgot they were there. These, this one is, despite the tarnish, um, it's perfect, absolutely perfect. We've got a little rust. This is the only thing that makes me think it might have been outside at some point, but there's really nowhere on the shackle or anywhere on this guy, nice and sharp. Uh, I only have one key with this one. There's what your bidding looks like, and when I look at that, I think, yeah, let's rake it open. It doesn't look like that challenging, so let's give it a shot. I will grab those, and we got to figure out some... Um, I almost reached for the top of the keyway. This is a little Yale-style keyway, a little tail, so we can't... Well, we can use top of the keyway, but I might as well use the bottom of that keyway. I'm not using that for picking. It's kind of offset. So if I put this guy down there, or maybe this one. This one's probably... Let's, let's go with this one, because it doesn't hang over into the workspace. So that's literally a perfect fit, and it doesn't bind, so we'll go with that. All right, um, we don't have a lot of space there to work with, so I can't choose the tallest. So I'm just going to grab, like, this guy. So let's slide him in, apply a little tension, and let's rate this dude open. Come on. Oh, look at that. It went into a fault set and grab my pick. So, it's got security pin. So let's try it anyway. Let's shove it in there, push everything to the top, apply a little bit of tension, and then try to rake it back down. Sometimes that will work. And it's not working today. Reset, let's try it again. All the way to the top, rake it back. Ah. Now something in the front had fallen to grab that pick. I did manage to get it out, though. And again, it fell into a deeper fault set, and there's no way that pick is coming out of there. So we have at least two spools in this guy. So raking, probably not going to be our choice. Let's go with a medium hook. This is in 25,000. I don't know if I'll be able to reach up around that curve, but let's find out. So all the way in. Uh, moderate tension. And let's find a binder. He's already kind of hanging stuck back there. Come on, where are you? Pin three, little click. Pin five, can't get under him. Yeah, he wants to pick, but I can't get this pick under him. So let's grab something that will go under him. Same thickness, but a little shorter profile. He went right under him. That's what we want. And there we go. We got our fault set going. Now we're hung up. Now that we have a nice fault set, we know we're hung up on probably a spool or a mushroom. And there he is right there. Notice how when I push that pin up, the core kind of counter rotates a little bit. That tells me that spool is trying to work his way through the shear line. I gotta open it up and let him squeeze through. Go on, little doggy, get up in there. Wow, that little doggy's plump. Get up in there. And there he goes. He was a little chubby, but he squeezed right up and through there. Anyway, here you go, guys. The CISA, possibly a Con Ed lock. I really don't know out of Charles's collection. Um, I didn't even check to see if this was going to be shimmable. And based on how thin those are up at the top, I would say probably no. Absolutely no. Not going to work. Anyway, not that difficult to pick, but as long as you can handle spools. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal, Charles. Thanks for the lock.